You know those things that you have been doing all of your life. I mean, the entire time, and this is the only way you know how to do it. And then you discover that there's actually a much faster and much easier way to do it. Yeah, you know those things I'm talking about. For example, did you know that a can of soda or whatever, if you open it and flip this, the tab over, over the opening, it is the perfect opening for a straw to sit perfectly in the can. Shit like this. Anyways, today I figured out something in Lightroom that is one of those things. And it is absolutely incredible. Life freaking changing. Will Simpson here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you a little trick of updating masks that I just learned and if you know it, well first of all, why didn't you tell me? And secondly, lucky you. <laughs> so here we are in Lightroom. Now here's a photo that I edited. Now here's the before and here is the after. Now let's say you get all of your edits done and you do all of your masks. So let me open up the mask panel here. You get all of your masks done, right? We have our subject, we have our background, we have our sky, we have our radial, we have our linear filters, all of our, all of them, right? And then you realize, oh, I wanna remove this little thing. So you click on your healing brushes, you make it smaller, you go ahead and paint over it. It removes it, right? Great, looking good. But then you get a red dot over your mask. You see that little red dot? That little red dot means that you have to update your mask selections, all of the AI ones, the background, the subject, the subtractions, all of it, right? So you can click on the masks, go to this one here, the sky, then you gotta go to click subject, then you click update, then you click sky, then you click update, then you go to the, the background one. Now you have all these subtractions, you click subject, you have to update, you click the other one, you click subject, you have to update. Oh my gosh, now the red dot is gone. That takes so much time. Well, let me tell you, it has driven me crazy because occasionally, just occasionally, a little triangle pops up right here in this little corner when I'm in the masks and it says click to update all masks. But this, is, this thing is so rare. This is like finding a unicorn with a treasure chest of gold out in the wilderness. You're never gonna find it, right? Well, it pops up once in a blue freaking mood and it drives me crazy. So I was like, there's gotta be a freaking easier way to do this. And I have found it. I have freaking found it. So let's go ahead and make some adjustments. Click the healing brush tool. We're gonna zoom in here. We're gonna do this one, right? I'm gonna remove that. We're gonna remove that little boat. We're gonna kind of move over here and we're gonna move, remove some of these little things. We're gonna make all these little adjustments and just clean up the image because it'll look so much better. Okay, now here we go, we got our red dot, right? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Here is all you have to do, and this sickens me, how I didn't know this before. But first, hit the like button, because it's worth it. And subscribe if you haven't already, because again, it's worth it. But here we go, ready? On your keyboard, if you have a Mac, you're going to press Command, Option, and U. Done updated. It is completely done and updated. And if you're using a PC, you're going to hit control alt and U. I don't use a PC, so I had to make it a note just to make sure I got it right for you because it is game changing. That's it. That's all you have to do. So you can do this over and over and over again and not have to update the mask every single time. Every single time. It's terrible. Okay, but that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. That, this, is, this is how painstakingly painful that this process was, and it's so simple now. And I hope you knew about this. I hope you knew about this. But if not, welcome. Welcome to the club with me on figuring out how to do something so much faster. <sighs> okay, good. That's it for this video. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. YouTube recommends this video. I recommend this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I mean, it's just... I don't really use straws, but it's just so clever. Holds my straw perfectly. It's awesome.